Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Anders Island. Today is the fourth Sunday of Easter, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, verses 27 through 30. And let us begin our prayer today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage proclaimed by Michael Toole. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The mere mention of the phrase Good Shepherd blessedly conjures up all of the thoughts written by the evangelist John in the beautiful 10th chapter of his Gospel, a chapter divided into three parts to accommodate the Sunday lectionary's three-year cycle. Rather than repeat parts of the chapter, This year's cycle gives us a meager three verses of the 42 verses which comprise chapter 10. And they focus our attention on the sheep's ability to hear and to recognize the voice of the shepherd, something that is critically important to truly living the Christian life and following in the Lord's footsteps. We live in an era no doubt like any era, when the noise of life makes it sometimes difficult to hear. Whether in the world of politics or the church, there are shepherds out there who could never be accused of being good, and sometimes they make a great deal of noise. It is important to be discerning about what to listen to, for even voices that might customarily be called religious might not be saying things that have a large share in what is right and what is just and in what is good. If the messages out there don't lead us to be more loving, to be more kind, to be more compassionate, to be more life-giving, to be more prayerful, and to be more generous, then we can be certain they are not from the Good Shepherd. My sheep hear my voice, says Jesus, and they follow me. But sometimes we choose not to listen. Sometimes the guidance of the Good Shepherd is not heeded. This was surely true of the Jews in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles today, whose rejection of the word deeply grieved Paul and Barnabas. It takes a real effort to discern the voice of the shepherd who never tires of leading us in the right direction. Countless numbers of voices will try to lead us astray. These are the wolves. But our familiarity with the shepherd's voice will cause us to be receptive to his guidance in order that he might lead us to the promised eternal pastures. Because our shepherd is rightly called good, we can trust him to lead us to springs of life-giving water where God will wipe away every tear from our eyes. Amen. After our closing prayer, reread the scripture passage and contemplate its message. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you from either a verse or even just a word that touches you 
and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him. And now let us complete our divine reading today with a closing prayer. And let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be upon you always, and may his blessings fill your day with peace and joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.